There was an issue some Republican members had with the bill regarding designating cartels as terrorist groups. Uh, they decided that it would allow migrants to claim asylum more easily. Was there a way that both concerns could have been addressed? Uh, and the second question is, if the House were to get that document they subpoenaed the FBI for regarding Biden allegedly taking a bribe to a foreign official, will the House vote to hold Director Ray at the Congress? And finally, what was your reaction to Congressman Slade having an anti-Israel man on the Senate side for of Senator you get them all worked in. Pretty good. Uh, I'll just work in reverse order. Um, I think Tlaib has mentioned many times before, it almost feels like there's anti-Semitism, and I will never allow that to happen in this body or in this floor. I've watched members on the other side of the aisle say that time and again, and we will always stand up against that no matter where it is. Uh, I just came back from a bipartisan group of members going to the 75th anniversary of Israel. When Israel was created, 11 minutes later, America recognized them. And I think the world is a better place for it. Um, I do not think what uh, Tlaib wanted to do should have happened in this chamber. Unfortunately, um, you've got a senator on the other side that I guess agrees with her and against the rest of the world. Your other question was about uh, a subpoena to the FBI. There's, there are checks and balances and there is oversight. Congress has a right to have uh, that knowledge, and I will have a conversation with uh, Director Ray about that and make sure that happens. Your last question was about cartels. Yes, we debate all different parts. And the one thing that I wanted to do is to have an opportunity to truly focus on the cartels, because if any of you have spent time at the border, you will find what we do not have operational control. Juan Siscomani had to leave, but in his district is Tucson. The Sinaloa cartels control Tucson, Arizona. If you go to Tucson, Arizona, you cannot cross the border without paying the Sinaloa. One individual tried to do it on his own. He wasn't captured by our border agents. He was captured by the cartel, beaten, thrown in the back of the car, never found again. If you cross on that area, every single person is dressed the same. They have a camouflage outfit on. Their shoes have rug on the bottom. It is the number one places of the of getaways. 71% of people across there are single males. They don't run up to our border agents, they run from them. We actually have to, because it's a big territory, every single day we risk the lives of our American um, people in the military and on the borders, putting helicopters up trying to rescue people up on the cliffs many times, each and every day. The real challenge here as well is we have to do a lot of this aerial. When the numbers continued to peak, you know what the administration did? They cut the number of balloons that we had that we could count the number of people that were coming over illegally. So they want to tell you that the numbers are down when it's only growing more. You catch fentanyl time and again from these individuals. So yeah, spend a little time there. You'll be able to see. Yes, ma'am.